we'll wait for five more minutes uh, to make the participants join, and then we'll start. We'll start our session in two to three minutes. Do send to your friends the link of the meet so they can join and come to know about our topic and session. Do send the links to your friends.
Okay, so now we'll start our session. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mohammed Farhan. I'll be your host for today with my co-host Bushra Shahzad. We welcome you all to today's session on Arduino by IEEE JMI. Let me give you a small brief about our topic. The term Arduino was introduced in 2005. Since then, it has become very popular in the fields of electronics. Arduino is an open source prototyping platform in electronics. It is based on easy to use hardware and software. In easy term, it is a prototyping board which can be used in developing digital devices that can read inputs like touching on the screen, like touching on the screen, light of a sensor and turning it into an output like rotating a fan motor playing songs through a speaker. Now I would like to introduce our, our speaker, Mr. Muhammad Iqbal, CEO of Lunix and founder of Tech Iqbal. He is an electronical engineer, web developer, a YouTuber, and a digital marketer. In this session, he'll be sharing his knowledge about Arduino. I request you all to keep the mic mute throughout the session. If you have any queries, put them in the chat box, which will be answered later in the Q&A session. Over to you, Ahmad Iqbal. Hi, hey, thank you, Paran, for the wonderful introduction. Yeah, so good afternoon, everyone. You can give me the answer in the chat box. Okay. First, tell me I am audible clearly. Yes, yes, your, your audio is clear. Please start. Okay. Okay, I am just sharing the screen. Is my screen visible? Uh, actually, no, I can't see it. Yeah, I think now it is visible, right? Yes, yes, it is visible. Okay. So is my screen visible? Yes, please start. Okay. So uh, the first question from you guys is that, is there any problem or is there anyone who have, uh, who, face, who is facing any problem in understanding Hindi? Is there anyone? Someone one is asking is the session being recorded? Okay. Okay, so let's start. Okay, I think some international students are also there. So let's go with English. Okay, so the first thing is that who am I? So as Farhan said, I am the CEO of Lonex founder of Tech Iqbal. What is the Lonex? Actually, Lonex is the company who manufacture stabilizer inverter. Okay, uh, we are in the B2B business right now, but soon we are going to B2C business. Okay, and you can go to my website. Okay, and I have my YouTube channel also where you get some electronics video. Okay, and uh, see my other website. Okay. Uh, so you can uh, read my research paper and for and uh, mentioning the research paper here 
is because lots of students want to write the research paper so if in future if you want me to, uh, if you want you if you want to help from me write research paper you can contact me okay i have one published research paper and three research paper in progress okay and here is the linkedin facebook and instagram link so you can follow me okay so uh, let's go to our session okay so we today in the session we will uh, see what is arduino how to work with arduino okay and after after uh, learning about arduino we will see how to make a product with arduino okay because you know the condition of our country in the hardware department or electronics department okay so uh, there are not lots of job so by making the product with arduino you can create a job right so let's start so anyone here who know what is arduino anyone you can unmute and say no problem okay so i have a kind of idea like uh, it's actually a device which helps to like uh, it actually takes an input and convert it into an output uh, it's the simplest answer i can give uh, yeah yes right it is uh, it take input and give output okay let's see in, it in detail okay arduino arduino is an open source microcontroller based electronic platform based on easy to use hardware and software okay this is the definition of arduino and i think by this definition lots of people uh, don't understand this right so let's uh, break it into simple terms okay let's see what is arduino okay simple thing that you brain okay your brain and sense organ and hands and legs so your brain is arduino okay <clears throat> your brain is arduino means all the analy analytical things will be done on arduino but your uh, your skin gives signal to the brain okay that uh, i am feeling cold and then uh, brain gives signal to your hand to just wear the winter clothes right so this is all the process and arduino is you can say a simply a brain okay and you need to connect the sensors input sensors and if you want to uh, also get the output you can connect the motors and other uh, devices on it other output devices so i think uh, what is arduino i think uh, everyone know now right if don't let me know i will explain it again okay so i think you understand properly yes right? sir yes <clears throat> so this is arduino and what is in arduino arduino is microcontroller based microcontroller based see uh, lots of people confuse in microcontroller and microprocessor microcontroller is totally different microprocessor is totally different different right and arduino is a microcontroller based and if you ask anything about uh, microprocessor based uh, then you can give the example of raspberry pi right so arduino is a microcontroller based okay so this you can see the black chip it is the microcontroller okay you hear the name of ic integrated circuit right it is similar similar like that right so what is the name of this microcontroller okay so the name of this microcontroller is at mega 328p you can tell uh, this is the heart of arduino okay where all the programs you stored where all the analytical things all the processing we do and uh, and we give uh, means for example we need to run the motor on the basis of input then uh, first the uh, first the input come to at mega 328p it process the information and then give the output and tell that tell the motor to run right so you can say this is the heart of arduino at mega 328p is there anyone who can tell me uh, the full form of p is there anyone okay so the full form of p is pico power okay so let's go further so how how means uh, 
you see that I explained you that it is the brain. So your brain is trained by Allah, right? So who will train Arduino? So Arduino will be trained by you. Arduino will be programmed up by you, right? So how will you program Arduino? You will program Arduino by PC. Okay. You will connect the cable to your PC and you write the program in Arduino IDE. There are lots of platform to write program. Okay. We generally use Arduino IDE. So you can uh, write the program in Arduino ID and you can just upload the program. Okay. If you are not understanding properly, don't worry. We will, uh, we will see the live project in front of you. Of course, not in the hardware because it will take time. We will see in the simulation, right? So in this way, we program Arduino. See, this is the software which we use to program Arduino. It is Arduino ID. It is the open source software. You can uh, get it from internet and download it for free. Right. So why Arduino? There are lots of board available in the market, right? But Arduino is more famous. Why? Because it is open source. It is user friendly and no additional burner. Can anyone tell the uh, meaning of this line? No additional burner. Is there anyone? Means no additional burner required. Okay, so uh, in Arduino, it is pre-installed burner. Pre-installed burner. Uh, let's say an example. Uh, sometimes uh, you face the problem of uh, in in your mobile that your firmware is uninstalled, right? So you go to go in the service center and tell them to install firmware, right? So that firmware, which is uh, Android, is installed in the in in your mobile. To operate your mobile so here in Arduino a burner is required okay we burn the bootloader in the Arduino to operate all the things right so in Arduino no burner are required because because Arduino comes with a burned bootloader right so you don't need to uh, burn the bootloader so keep this line in mind because if we will go in the product manufacturing in the last part of this session, then uh, there you need to burn the bootloader in Arduino, right? There you will not, uh, not get uh, pre-burn bootloader, right? So Arduino is portable, okay? Portable like you can see, uh, can you see my camera? Yes, it is visible, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. Yes. So see how small Arduino is. You can take it in pocket or you can take it in, uh, in your bag, right? So Arduino is portable and low power consumption and low cost. Arduino you will get only in, uh, I think, three to 400 uh, because of cheap uh, shortage, semiconductor shortage. Right now, uh, the Arduino price is going higher, approx six to 7,000, but the approx price is uh, 300. Uh, and, and you know that this is the clone Arduino. Right, this is not an Arduino, Arduino uh, miss original Arduino. If you will go to purchase the original Arduino, uh, the original Arduino price is uh, 3500 approx. So we use clone, right? So let's go further. Let's see what, is, what are the types of Arduino board. There are lots of Arduino boards. Okay, why we use different types of Arduino board? For example, for example, if, if in Arduino Nano, there are not enough number of pins to uh, give you give your input and output okay then we use arduino uno if arduino uno is not enough then we go to arduino mega okay so we switch the arduino board according to our requirement right so there are, let's see some types of arduino board so i think it is clear to you all that why we use different arduino board right be interactive, guys. Actually, I think I, I come on I, chat, I, chat box. I link to you. Yes. If you have any answers, because any queries, very little bit uh, like active. Be active. Otherwise, I will think I will. I am talking to the wall, right? <laughs> so, let's see some type of Arduino board. It uh, the first is Arduino Uno R3, Arduino Pro, Arduino Pro Mini, Arduino Mini, Arduino Lily Pad, Arduino Red Board. Arduino UN, UNO SMD R3. Okay. Arduino Mega, Arduino Lerado, Arduino Ethernet, Arduino Mega Pro Mini, Arduino Pro Mini, Arduino 
Lily Pad, Arduino Mega Pro, or Arduino Duo. So these are the different types of Arduino board. Okay, so we use different types of Arduino board in different uh, means according to our requirement. If we use in IoT, IoT we will use uh, Arduino Ethernet. Okay, and uh, for IoT we also use different board. Okay, ESP8266. I think you hear about it, right? So according to our requirement, we switch our board. But if you will learn about one Arduino, that is Arduino Uno, okay, then you will you can work with any Arduino, right? Because uh, the functions will be the same, okay, and all the process will be same. Just the configuration will be different, right? That is uh, the uh, RAM is more in some Arduino, the pin number of pins in more in some Arduino, right? So that is the thing. So if you will master one Arduino, then you can work in any other Arduino, right? <clears throat> so let's see what are the applications, what we can do with Arduino, right? So we can do home automation, like we can switch on off our fan from our mobile, okay? And believe me, if you know how to work with Arduino, it is very easy task. You can do uh, this all, means you can make the home automation project, okay? Uh, in the price of uh, eight to eight hundred to one thousand, not more than that. Okay, and the and the same product if you will go to the market and you can uh, you will go to uh, purchase it. I think it will not come in less than three thousand, right? So this is the uh, means advantage to learn Arduino. You, know, you can if not for other people, you can make your own device to use it, right? And believe me, it is very easy to learn Arduino, right? Let's see what are the other application. You can make Arduino RC airplane. Uh, if anyone uh, made an air, uh, airplane, uh, 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 they know that it is very costly to make airplane, right? Because the receiver, uh, the cost of receiver is, uh, I think, four or five thousand, right? So instead of four or five thousand, if you will use Arduino, okay? then uh, I think your cost will come to approx 1,000 to 1,500. So these are the advantages of Arduino uh, you can use to uh, make your cost-effective products. Okay, we will uh, talk how to make products later. Okay, let's see. You can make Arduino robo robot car wireless control. <clears throat> okay, it is very easy. Okay, and it is given in my uh, YouTube channel also. You can go, go and watch the video and you can uh, make this Bluetooth control car. Okay, you can uh, you can just access the car and you can just control the car from your smartphone, right? And believe me, it is very easy to make. It means uh, you will not get, uh, you will not uh, get more than I think it will. You can make it in one hour easily if you are new. You can make it in one hour. Okay. So I will show the I will show the video. I have compiled all the applications video. Okay, I will show the video. Don't worry about it. Right. So uh, this is the color sorter. Okay. What uh, what they are doing? Okay. Uh, here is the color sensor, and we program the Arduino. Okay. And here is the servo. Right. So color sensor is an input device, and uh, and mic uh, and servo is an output device, and we program the Arduino in this way that if this color uh, in the if this color Come, then servo will move to uh, means angle. We have set an angle of zero to three sixty degree, right? So we are uh, controlling the servo by the help of uh, a color sensor, right? And we are doing the and we are sorting the colors, right? So it is also very easy project. Let's see other. This is a fingerprint door lock. So you can uh, make your home fully automated by doing all this project. Uh, doing, doing all this project okay this is the fingerprint door lock means you can uh, use your fingerprint to open the door and close the door okay and this is your homework writing machine if you are not means if you are very lazy like me then you can make this uh, machine to write your homework right so let's see uh, and this is uh, gesture control card means it means the car will move on the basis of the hand where you will move. Okay, I will show the video, then it will be uh, much clearer. Okay, let's see video.
Everything is clear now, right? Yes, in the chat box. Or I think uh, I should go slow, or I I should go fast, or everything is all right. Right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Then uh, let me show you the video. Uh, can you hear the sound? I think I need to share the tab. Yeah, can you see the video? The screen? Can you hear the sound? Yeah, the screen is visible. But uh, no, the sound is not coming. The like sound it. is not coming. Okay, then uh, see the video. I think uh, will not come. So this is the RC airplane. Okay, Arduino based. You can make it at your home. Now this is the Bluetooth control car. Okay, we are controlling the from the smartphone. So this is the color sorter. This is fingerprint door lock. And this is the gesture control card. By using the hand in different direction, you can control the direction of the car. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think you will get the clear picture, right? Uh, right now, what is Arduino and how you can uh, make the project fit Arduino, right? If any problem, you can unmute and ask. Okay. So let's go further. Yeah. So is my screen visible, Farhan? Yeah, yeah, it is visible. Yeah, okay. So are you excited to learn more about Arduino? Everyone? Okay. I am taking your silence as yes, okay. <laughs> Let's go further. Okay. Actually, I can't see you see the chat box. Okay, because I am saying actually the they are writing yes in the chat yes, box. Yes, yes. Like if they I come am... in the middle and say so, it will get inconvenient. Okay. So that's yes. why it's better to Put right, the in, the in the chat box. Yes. Okay, fine. Actually, I I'm not able to see the chat box. That's why I am asking. Okay. So let's let's learn more about Arduino. Okay. So this is the Arduino board. So let's see what uh, Arduino board contains. Okay. So uh, first thing I uh, told you that it uh, it is. So this is the heart of Arduino. At mega 328p ram rom all the process going in this uh, microcontroller only okay the this microcontroller the name of microcontroller is at mega 328p okay and you will uh, see that uh, this there are two microcontroller lots of people don't know that arduino has two microcontroller but arduino has two microcontroller okay so one is at mega 328p which is the main microcontroller and one is uh, one is at mega 16u2 this this is the microcontroller this is the other microcontroller okay this is not the main microcontroller what is the work of this microcontroller it act as a bridge between the main microcontroller and computer okay so this microcontroller at mega 328p won't able to understand the language of computer directly so so this microcontroller, this small microcontroller at mega 16U2, okay, convert it into the at mega 16, at mega 328P, okay, 
to the language of 328p and uh, make the 328p understand okay if you have not understand properly let me break it into simple example and uh, let me explain you again okay so let's see uh, how 16 at mega 16 you to work okay let's see there are three people in the college okay i have taken this name from the registration sheet so if you are one of them so no need to worry about it okay so let's let's say there is toiba asma and janab okay there are three people okay for example toiba no english janab no hindi and if toiba and janab want to talk with each other okay there is no in between language so asma came into the picture because asma no hindi and english both so what janab will say okay so what janab will say in hindi asma translate into english and tell it to toiba and what toiba tell to janab then asma translate toiba words to hindi and tell it to janab right so this is a simple process so you can see the here the english is laptop means your laptop and means your laptop and at mega 328p want to talk with each other okay so they don't they say want they want able to talk directly so they they take the help of at mega 16 u2 i think you will get, you have get the clear picture of it right okay i'm am i audible farhan yes 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 okay okay so let's go further okay so let's see what more uh, there are in arduino okay so this is the icsp in serial circuit programmer so this is the icsp in serial circuit programmer what we do we program at mega 16 u2 means bootloader okay for example arduino is pre burned bootloader but in case if uh, somehow bootloader is uh, means erased then we burn bootloader from here okay and this icsp is for at mega 16 u2 okay so we burn bootloader for at mega 16 u2 from here but arduino is pre burned bootloader so you don't need to burn bootloader so uh, in case in case if you if sometimes you burn uh, your bootloader get erased then you need this case okay and see there is a see, uh, there is a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator okay can any one tell what is the use of crystal oscillator is there anyone who can tell the definition or just in the simple language okay let me tell you as we for example uh, uh, if for example i need to join this webinar right and uh, 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 and take the sessions on arduino okay so what i do i see the watch okay so that i can join at 1 pm exactly okay so this crystal oscillator is the watch for arduino means it's, it's it it generates signals okay and if it generates signals and it uh, means the operation operation going on the basis of that signals so you can tell it is the watch of arduino okay so you can see that there are uh, two crystal oscillator there are six, uh, this is 16 megahertz crystal oscillator and here is 16 megahertz ceramic resonator right so uh, uh, so this crystal oscillator is for at mega 16 u2 and this ceramic resonator is for at mega 328p can anyone here can tell that why the uh, uh, crystal oscillator of at mega 16 u2 is bigger and it is bigger uh, so it is more accurate right i can tell you that uh, the accuracy of a uh, crystal oscillator 16 mega has crystal uh, oscillator is more than the accuracy of 16 mega has ceramic resonator so you can ask one question that at mega 328p is the main microcontroller in arduino board right then why you why we are using uh, the more accurate crystal oscillator in at mega 16 u2 so is there any uh, is there anyone in the session who can give answer
<clears throat> okay, no problem. Let me tell you. Okay, see here the 16 mega here the 8 mega 16 U2. What what is the work of 8 mega 16 U2 here? Okay, it is acting as a bridge between your laptop and your 8 mega 328P. So if there is any any mistakes in the timing, then whole program will be disturbed, right? So we used in so we used more accurate crystal oscillator in 8 mega 16 U2. I think you got the point, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So let's go further. Okay, let's see uh, what are the features of this Arduino board. Okay, features of Arduino UNO. Okay, I am talking about the features of Arduino UNO. Don't uh, get confused because there are lots of Arduino I tell, told you. Okay, so in last, you need to master at least one Arduino board. Okay, to work with other Arduino board. So I am explaining you the features of Arduino UNO. Okay. So Arduino microcontroller is at mega 328 is 8-bit. Okay. The operating voltage is 5 volt. Okay. And, and input voltage, recommended voltage is 7 to 12 volt. Okay. But maximum you can give it is 12 volt. Okay. But don't give it uh, maximum 12 volt. Keep it in uh, 7 to 12 volt. Okay. Digital, there are 14 digital input output pin and 6 PWM pin. Okay. In which see, there are 6 PWM pin. Okay. And there are 6 analog pin. Okay. Uh, just let me show you where is the. Okay. See. See. This from 0 to pin number 13. Okay. There are 14 digital input output pin. Okay, and pin number three, where you are seeing this sign, pin number three, pin number five, pin number six, nine, ten, eleven. So these pins are PWM pin. What, what what is the use of PWM pin? For example, uh, we use motors. Okay, so we connect motors in it. Okay, we we will not go in detail theory about it because it will take more time. Okay, simply uh, simply understand that we connect motor on it or any device that uh, the frequency of any device which we want to be increased or decreased right so we connect in pwm pin okay so 0 to 13 is digital pin out of which 6 is pwm pin and here a0 to a5 is analog pin okay there are six analog pin okay a0 to a5 and here is the power supply okay see uh, here is 5 volt power supply, 3.3 volt power supply, okay, GND, ground, ground and V. Okay, so you can give power supply to the Arduino in three ways. From V in pin, from this jack, male center positive jack and from this USB cable, right. So you can give Arduino, uh, you can give power to the Arduino board in this three ways. Okay, and see, this is the reset button. So many people think that uh, once we have programmed the Arduino and, and if we will click on reset button, the program will be erased, right? But that is not the thing. The work of reset button is to initialize the program again, right? So this is the work of reset pin. So let's go further. So it is 32 KB of flash memory and 0 0.5 KB, uh, okay, uh, 32 KB of flash memory of at mega 328P of which 0 0.5 KB is used by bootloader. I said uh, bootloader is pre-installed. So 0 0.5 KB out of 32 KB is uh, captured by bootloader. Okay. So SRAM is 2 KB, PE probe is 1 KB, and clock speed, that is crystal oscillator, uh, oscillator is 16 megahertz. I think you get the clear picture of it, right? So are you excited to make one project? Okay, I will make the live project. So let's go to the simulator. First, tell me, are you excited or not? Or, or are you getting bored of mine? Yes, sir, we are excited. Yeah. Yes, somebody writing yes. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Only one are excited. Okay, no problem.
okay let's go to go into the simulator and see okay let's see how we can design our first product and see how easy it is to design our first product miss first project sorry okay so we are in tinkercad uh, can you see the tinkercad is my screen visible yes sir yes it is visible okay so we will go in circuit create new circuit i will show some of the project but uh, i will not make that project here now because it will take time okay so we want to make the blink arduino blink program so we will search for arduino yeah this is arduino okay and uh, you want means led blink program so we need to take led also okay and you can connect it in ground the negative pin and you can connect the positive pin in pin number 13 okay so we will write a program to blink led after one second okay so this is the arduino id where we write the program okay so void setup and void loop is predefined okay so i will ex explain you if you want okay because it will take time so i am writing the simple code okay first what i what i am doing okay see i have connected the pin number 13 of led pin positive right so i will define pin number 13 i will say the order you know that i am using your pin number 13 this is a simple program integer pin number 13 okay so okay and in void setup what we do we define the pin means pin we have already defined so okay so okay so we define the yeah, we define here means in void setup now you define the thing which will run only once and in void loop you do define the things which will run again and again so here we will define that the led which you are using is input device or output device for example if you are if you are using sensor and taking the input then it is input device okay so the, here we are using uh, the output device so here we will set the pin in mode okay sorry i have not given the name okay integer led so led is connected to pin number 13 and we will write here led led this led only we are writing, writing here okay so it is input device or output device so it is already is output device okay so we will write output Okay, so uh, this program will run once. Okay, so here we will write the program to uh, high and low, means on and off. So how we will write that? So we will write digital right. We will write digital right, and in digital right, we will write LED. Okay, so LED. What we are doing with LED? We are doing high. Okay. semicolon in the end it is must okay this is not python programming okay so we have written digital right led high okay we will copy here we will change it to low right but it is but the timing between the high and low is very less you will not uh, but, uh, means it is not visible from your eyes okay you need to uh, uh, see this from the camera so what i will do we will give delay in between okay delay of 1000 millisecond so uh, here uh, we are using 1000 millisecond 1000 millisecond means one second so this is a simple program that we write to blink LED, you can see how easy it is. So we'll copy the program here because we are doing it in the simulator. We'll go to code, text, continue. Okay, we'll paste our program here. Okay, so we will uh, start the simulator. Let's see it is uh, it will blink after one second or not. See, it is blinking. Okay, uh, see here it is giving warning. Okay, so if you are you use doing this in hardware, don't uh, don't connect it directly okay it is not a good practice in simulator it will not fuse but in hardware 
it will fuse so it is better to uh, use a resistance in between of 220 ohm <clears throat> yeah so here uh, you have seen the warning sign is gone right so see how simple it is to make project from arduino okay and uh, uh, i think you uh, get the point how to make a project from arduino yes write it yes write yes in the chat box i will show, show you some more project yeah fine let's see uh, for example you want to uh, make the project okay for example you want to enter in the room and you want your light to be on automatically okay so you want to make a project for that okay once you enter in the room light will on automatically once you go out from the room light will uh, switch off automatically so let's see here is one project okay i can't uh, teach you all the codes here because it will take time okay so this is the pir sensor okay it detect motion okay so what we are doing here we are detecting the motion okay and on the basis of motion we are giving the input to microcontroller okay and if if there will be any motion then the led will be on if there will be not any motion then led will be off okay let's see <clears throat> let's start the simulation see uh, here it is not an in, uh, in any motion so if we will move this see here is in motion and led is glowing right there is no motion led is off motion led is glowing see how easy it is to make this project uh, so if you want to make this project you at least need to understand the basic program and if you will learn arduino for 2 to 2 to 3 hours okay you will uh, you can make this project uh, project easily right so we we if you uh, and if you read from me means i also teach arduino to the people okay so if you will do read from me about arduino i teach arduino world for only 2 to 3 hours okay in that 2 to 3 hours uh, i clear only uh, only the fundamentals of arduino and fundamentals of basic electronics so that you can make the pro make the project easily <coughs> sorry okay in simul in simulation the making the project is very easy as compared to hardware because in hardware you will face lots of problem okay and if you will not know the basic electronics you will not able to uh, find where will the where the problem is okay and arduino is a microcontroller if you know the basic of electronics okay then you can design your board without microcontroller let me show you one more project okay where uh, i will show you the project without microcontroller okay see this is uh, this is the project which we made uh, without microcontroller okay by configuring the uh, configuring the uh, transistor and resistors okay <clears throat> what is the purpose of this project this is the ldr for example uh, you have seen the street light okay so uh, we forget to switch off the street light at uh, means in day right and uh, we used to switch on at night so we uh, we do the process automatically means the street light will uh, switched off at the day time and switched on uh, switch switched on and at the night time so let's see okay we will, we are running the simulator see it is the night time so we are increasing the sunlight as we will increase the sunlight see the led is getting dimmed and the sunlight is increasing led is getting off <clears throat> is it is this project visible <coughs> yes yes sir yes sir it yeah, is visible yeah see as we increase in the light led is getting on if you would make it it in hardware it is uh, very interesting and and uh, means if you will ask uh, what is the cost of this setup so this setup cost for only 50 to 60 rupees right so you can make it in home if you have the concept of basic electronics so are you enjoying or not right yes in the chat box okay <clears throat> so let's go into the ppt again 
so we uh, we so i think uh, you understand what is the basic concept of arduino how it is work and how to learn it right so let me uh, give you the basics about how you can make product of it right making of product with arduino is means very easier right we are launching some of the product okay i think at the end of this year we will launch uh, some of the product under linux okay so uh, i will give you the brief idea how you can design a product from arduino okay is my ppt visible farhan yes it is yes so let's go how you can make a product with arduino okay so there are some process to make a product with arduino this is not the process of startup startup process is totally different thing i am only telling you the process to make a product from arduino <clears throat> okay just be clear that you if you are making product from arduino okay you are not making the product from arduino you are making the product from at mega 328p microcontroller okay we will you not use arduino as a product okay we cannot earn money by selling the arduino okay it is illegal for us okay because it is a free to use but it is illegal to make money of it, out of it okay so we will never use arduino to make a product we will use the chip the chip at mega 328p of arduino to make a our product okay so let's see the process the first is feasibility okay the second is hardware designing the third is prototyping testing and manufacturing let's see the process quickly okay so feasibility so first you know to need to do the things is you need to write the product ideas okay writing the writing any ideas okay is increase uh, your uh, writing any idea okay is much be more better than thinking because it increase your capability to do the work right if you are writing your ideas so writing your ideas is very important <clears throat> sorry okay you need to do the market research what is going in the market who is your target customers who is your competitor and what will be your cost okay you need to do all these things before making the product right and you need to develop your blue ocean what is blue ocean let understand what is blue ocean okay okay so you need to do all the research process uh, means means you need to invest your 30% energy in uh, doing the market research right otherwise you will be blood bathed in the market if you will uh, get directly into the market okay so there is a course by someone the more you sweat on practice the less you bleed in battle right so this applies here also okay so let's say you have done the market research and you need to develop a blue ocean right now what is blue ocean let's see what is blue ocean see uh, blue ocean and red ocean these are the strategies okay so you can see uh, in the figure blue ocean there is more competition okay let's see the uh, let's see the example of fisherman if you are fisherman okay if you will go to catch the fish in red ocean okay you can see the picture there are lots of competitors available here and you will not get more fish here right but if you get go in the blue ocean okay so there is no competitor or very less competitor okay so you can easily catch the fish there and you will get lots of fish there right i am not telling that your idea should be totally new right i am not telling that your idea should be totally new okay but your idea need to be stand in the market for example you can uh, you have watched the shark tank right you see in the aman gupta okay the the headphone uh, the wireless earphones are already available in the market before boat come into the market right but what boat do boat identify the market market gap okay and from there they do the research and these all these things uh, all these things will uh, you came to know when you are doing the research about the, your product right so by doing research 
they are they get the market gap where the market gap is so he develop a blue ocean in the red ocean also right so you don't need to be a totally unique to sell your products in the market or you need to, don't need to be totally unique to be choose your product you can also make uh, you can also make a blue ocean in the red ocean right so you can see the example on aman gupta so you need to verify the product and you you need to uh, means make the product and you need to see the competitor that what is available in the market and where is the gap so you would need to do all the research about it right so i think you get a clear concept of blue ocean and red ocean so you have done all the things and then you need to plan plan is the most important thing you don't need to plan by thinking you need to write each and every step how you are planning because failing to plan is planning to fail right you need to write write every step in which date you are doing and why you are doing right you need to do every, you need to write every step let's go into hardware designing okay this uh, this is our uh, means main topic hardware designing and prototyping okay so hardware designing we design the circuit schematic circuit okay mechanical for example i want to make a bluetooth control card for the children okay for as a toy so first we will design the products we will see uh, is motor required or is the wheel required okay so we need to identify all the things okay and from where you will get and how will you design you need to prepare about it <clears throat> and then you need to uh, design your pcb board according to that for example if you are designing arduino board okay i will tell you uh, let's go to next okay so i will show you here right here right now i have designed my circuit so are you excited to see my circuit i will show you live hello yes yes are you excited yeah they are actually putting it in the chat box okay okay no problem <clears throat> so are you excited right so i will show you the live circuit that i have made okay and i will tell you the software also see this is my arduino designed okay and this is the schematics okay we designed the schematics because uh, we don't design the circuit directly because we will get confused we design the schematics of arduino board and then we convert it into the pcb layout okay and then we export the gerber the gerber file and you can go to any of the there are lots of pcb making companies available in the market you can just upload the gerber file they will make your pcb and they will de deliver it to you okay so i let me show you the live pcb design so this is the schematics see we are using the software dip trace okay so see see close see we designed the arduino this is the design of an arduino <clears throat> okay why we are not giving the schematics to directly to the pcb designer because if we will give the schematics directly to the pcb designer they will came to know what is the pins and how we are making it maybe they are not your competitor but they can sell to your competitor in the higher price right so you will lost your product there <clears throat> so you need need to uh, see everything about it okay once you made the schematics you go to here okay okay then once you uh, once you design the schematics then you need to go to file and then convert it into pcb okay your pcb design will be ready not totally ready you need to uh, define the height width and you need to define the wire let me show you the pcb design <clears throat> how will it look <clears throat> see this is the pcb design 
and this PCB design you need to give because in this you are miss you can erase all the all this thing JP2, J1, okay, and U2, okay, and this you can erase all these things and you can give it to the uh, PCB designer. You can just go to here, export, export, export in uh, Gerber file. Okay, you can uh, say here what will be the accuracy, weight, height. Okay, you can set here and you can export all the Gerber file and you can send it to the PCB designer. They will make the PCB for you and they will deliver it to you. So till here you understand or not? Yes. Yes. So <clears throat> let me say, I have designed this for Arduino, right? So if I'm designing this for, means I am, my means my target is to make a remote control car means a smartphone control car okay bluetooth control car so i have given all the pins here right you can see all the pins here okay so if my target is clear then we will not give all the pins here we will give digital pin four digital pin okay few analog pin which we need to connect in motor driver okay and in motors okay and in bluetooth Okay, only that much of pin will, will be there. Okay, because it will reduce your cost. As you, <coughs> as you increase the length and breadth of PCB, the price will be increased. Okay, so if, you, if the, the thing which is not uh, in use for you, then why you will make that thing, right? So you can remove that thing and it will reduce your cost. That thing I am explaining here, right? That design, design and printed circuit board. Okay, now you have designed the printed circuit board. Okay, I think you understand it here, right? It is not difficult, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Right in the chat box. Okay. Yes, let's go further. Okay, few more slides are left only. Okay, then hardware designing completed. Then we go, go to the prototyping. See, what is the to prototyping? Prototyping is the final product. Okay, it is not the manufacturing part. It is the prototyping. It is the final product. Means you will assemble all the motors. For example, if you are making Bluetooth control car, you will assemble all the motors, all the circuit. Means uh, the product which you want to make, you will prepare in the prototyping. Okay, this is prototyping. Okay, prototyping is the, not the final product. Okay, then you will, will go to the testing part. Okay, then you will test the product. Okay, <clears throat> you will test the technical part, you will test the documentation part. Okay, uh, document, uh, documentation part is a little bit complicated. Okay, uh, because you need to uh, worry about all the things that the government policies imposed, right? So this is the website, you can uh, read the government policies, okay? So that you can get a clear picture uh, of how you can make the product and launching which product uh, need license to be made and which product need not to be made. Uh, you know, need not use license, right? <clears throat> so you will get the clear picture. Okay. In this process, we are taking time. So we are uh, not launching the product uh, immediately because making a product is easy, but doing with the uh, all the documentation and all the things <clears throat> it take time right so you will test uh, by test the technical how will you get, you will miss how you will give the guarantee of that product this or warranty of that product how much you will give the warranty okay you need to uh, do this uh, you need to figure out all the things in the testing part okay and then you will prepare the final documentation and then you will go for the final product is there anyone who can say that or do you know Okay, miss, you know that we can program again and again in Arduino, right? So is there anyone who can uh, say that how many times, how many maximum number of times we can run the program on Arduino? Because on the basis of that, we give guarantee or warranty. Okay, no problem. We take, we take at least, uh, okay, we take at least one lakh times. Okay, normally we take uh, we take the number of times is one lakh to give the warranty or guarantee to uh, to our customers. Okay, so testing part is over. 
then you go for manufacturing okay in manufacturing you don't need to set up initially a means a industry about it okay you can outsource do your manufacturing you can see there are lots of manufacturer available in the market okay <clears throat> lots of manufacturer available in the market i think you hear the name of vigard vigard is a tire making company they don't have full manufacturing they have only r and d manufacturing they don't do the manufacturing other company do the manufacturing for them right so initially you don't need to set up the industry you can outsource your manufacturing okay now by doing all this process uh, all this process your product will be ready okay so it is now over i think you you are not get bored right so thank you and if you have any questions okay then you can ask me yeah if you have any question to put it in the chat box and uh, sir will answer it yes you have any question you can put the question in the chat box i will answer how can we connect you okay uh, okay so you can connect me in the linkedin okay i am giving the linkedin or you can follow me also in the youtube also you are you all are requested to post your query in the comment section and if you want to you can unmute yourselves yes you can unmute yourself and ask any questions right you if you are late and yeah. you don't want to type so please ask unmute yourselves and ask questions already sir you have explained us very well uh, the marketing and the product and everything but there might be some doubts yes yes uh, there might be some doubts and how is raspberry the... yes raspberry pi is totally different raspberry pi is based on microprocessor and uh, means arduino is based on microcontroller okay if you want to uh, get the clear picture okay in what uh, you need to learn about microprocessor and microcontroller what we do in microprocessor na in microprocessor we have uh, we have ram uh, in microprocessor we need to connect the ram rom hard disk okay uh, primary memory secondary memory we need to connect in the microprocessor okay but in microcontroller all the things are there already inside the microchip okay and there are lots of different difference there in microprocessor and microcontroller in order to uh, get the clear picture you need to understand microcontroller one difference i have said and you can also search it in the google to get more differences right yeah so there is one more question can we reach out to you if we work on the same project and struck on some time uh, yes you can reach out to me if you are making same product uh, project okay i am just uh, just a minute i am giving you giving you the telegram link okay yeah all the links are available in the chat box the youtube linkedin facebook instagram okay. and now we'll be getting the telegram link also so you can go there and in the forum section you can ask your doubt okay i am i will be active there and i will be very happy to solve your problem okay so i am giving it in the chat box okay you can join our telegram group okay and how many number of there are 25 number of people okay so you can whatsapp me but uh, okay you can join the telegram group okay if you will need then i will organize a meeting for you or i will give my number in case if you needed it <clears throat> right so any question you can ask me any question if project related or product related i will help you out of it right if there are any question you can ask